Good morning! It is Real Estate Tips Tuesday and this week's tips we're going to talk about all the creepy crawly critters that are coming into your house this winter. This is the time of year that um, <clears throat> those little pests like to get inside your home because they're living creatures just like us. They're trying to find safety and warmth in your home. So here are some tips to try to keep all these critters outside. First tip is prevention. Be proactive instead of reactive. So preventing the, um, the bugs coming in or the infestations before they happen. By doing this, you want to check um, your home, the surroundings, um, to make sure that there's no big problems that you need to deal with. Sometimes pesticides or traps can get rid of these critters before they get into your home. But if it looks like there might be a bigger problem, you might want to call in some professionals to try to get the um, pest control or the pests under control before they start to invade your home. The second tip is to check around your doors and your windows. Any little hole that possibly you would think that's too small for something to get into. Just remember that bugs have their exoskeleton on the outside of their body so they can get teeny tiny. So that little hole that's on your screen that you don't think an ant can get through, think again. You might wanna get that checked. Also, if your door sweep um, on your front door is old and starting to pull away from the door or isn't sealing properly, guess what? Those little critters know it and they're coming inside there too. And you also want to look around your doors or your windows to see if there's any holes there that you can caulk around the windows and doors and such if they're just tiny minor holes. Number three, letting your landscape get out of control. If you have any kind of plants or bushes or trees that are against your house that are overgrown and um, they look very inviting for little critters, that's probably another way that they're trying, you know, that they can get into your house. So you want to make sure that you keep all of your lawn and landscaping trimmed and cut back and away from your house so that it gives them, it doesn't give the pests an easy access into your home. <sighs> the next tip is to, to leave out tempt temptation, temptations for critters, such as leaving the trash can lid open on your trash cans or perhaps your dog left a bone outside unchewed on your porch. That is just an invitation for all the little critters to come and visit your home. Another issue um, or tip is to avoid letting water pool around your house. If you have water that pools in your, in your yard or um, anywhere around your house, you wanna try to get that mitigated. Maybe talk to a landscape, um, person to help you to try to figure out a way to get it so it doesn't pool around there because mosquitoes love stagnant water and so do some other little critters. Number six is using the wrong pesticides. You want to make sure that you're reading the labels and you understand which pesticides work for which critters because you might be spraying for ants but the bottle really only or the pesticide only really works for spiders. So you want to make sure that you're reading the label and you're getting it right. Tip number seven is not timing your pest control right with the seasons. Sure, spring is a big time for bugs because they're starting to come out from um, the cold and they're, um, they're multiplying and they're being all vibrant. And summer, they're living their best life and thriving. But as the temperatures cool, that's when they start to seek warmth. So you want to make sure that you're timing um, your control, your pesticide control correctly more towards like the summertime to prevent any of those critters from getting into your home during the fall and winter. And number eight is not knowing what pests you have in your area. Here in Colorado, we are pretty spoiled where we don't have a ton of pests that we have to deal with, but we still do get some. And those are the ones that you really want to think about. Um, and how to um, control them so they don't get inside your house. If you don't know which ones they are, you can do some research or you can call a professional company to come out and help you to mitigate against some of these pests so they don't invade your home. You can also use natural remedies as well. Some essential oils like peppermint 
and spearmint kind of keep away bugs. They don't like the smell because it's too strong. So you can put those around doorways and windows and that can help to keep some of the pests out as well. And cinnamon. Cinnamon is also a good um, trick to try to keep some of those pests out. Uh, ants and other little critters don't like um, cinnamon because it's a heavy and it um, it's a heavy uh, spice along with it being powdery and stuff and kind of mess mess them up that way. So some of those tips can be helpful to keep some critters out if you don't like using pesticides. Another thing I'd like to talk about is spiders. A lot of people are super creeped out by spiders, but spiders are actually a great pest control because they eat the other insects. There are about 40,000 species of spiders on earth and only about 12 of those actually can harm you. And here in the US, there's only two spiders that you really have to worry about, the brown recluse and the black widow. But they are rarely seen here in Colorado. And they, if, even if they do bite you, they are rarely deadly. You still need to seek professional, or you still need to seek medical attention because they can be um, cause some harm and, and cause you to be kind of sick. So you definitely want to go and see a doctor or a medical professional if you get bit by one. But out of all the house spiders here in Colorado, they rarely bite humans. And if they do, they're not harmful. So even if you don't like them, they are great to have around your house to keep down some of those pests that get in your house as well. If you enjoyed these tips, please press the like button and subscribe so that you can get these wonderful tips every week into your email box. And if you'd like to talk about any of these topics or you'd like to talk about any kind of real estate topics, please contact me through my social pages. And until next week, have a great rest of the week.